From the school bench, we know very well that arthropods, reptiles, amphibians, and fish can be poisonous. The most advanced will also name a couple of mammals, such as the platypus and the slow loris. But did you know that a bird the size of an ordinary sparrow can pose a danger? The blue-headed ifrit, Ifrita caldi, breaks all stereotypes and gives rise to new phobias in those who are afraid of poisonous creatures. Fortunately, a meeting with a poisonous bird does not threaten us, since the ifrit is endemic to New Guinea. Moreover, not every inhabitant of the jungle saw it, since the habitat of these birds is very narrow. They are found in high mountain moist forests at an altitude of 1500 to 3600 meters above sea level. Ifrit is a small bird, with a body length of no more than 16 centimeters. Among the bright tropical birds, it is simply lost, as it has an inconspicuous gray-yellow plumage. The only decoration of the bird is a bright blue cap on its head, and males, in addition, can boast of thin arrows from the eyes to the temples. The bird flies well, but at the same time it prefers to move on foot, deftly climbing tree branches, thanks to tenacious claws. There is nothing to be especially afraid of the blue-headed ifrit, since the poison of one bird can paralyze a medium-sized predator and kill a small one. Batricotoxin, with which the bird protects itself, cannot take the life of an adult healthy person, but causes very unpleasant symptoms. The bird does not peck, does not spit out poison and does not scratch the attacker with poison claws, it is completely covered with a toxin that is on its feathers and even paws. Batricotoxin begins to act instantly, immediately upon touching the bird, at first, numbness of the skin is felt, and then the symptoms increase rapidly, affecting both the nervous and cardiovascular systems. A small predator, even if it manages to survive after communicating with Ifrit, will not be able to fully recover. The toxin acts irreversibly, and the victim is permanently partially paralyzed. A person usually gets off with temporary limb paralysis and extremely unpleasant angina attacks. For a core, an elderly person or a child, contact with a bird can be deadly. Scientists were surprised to notice that blue-headed ifrits placed in captivity lose their toxic properties very quickly. This made it possible to find out that the poison of these birds is not a product of some special glands, but is obtained by birds from the outside. By the way, photographs in which birds are held in their hands are usually taken in zoo enclosures, where birds are not dangerous. In nature, insectivorous ifrits love to feast on poisonous beetles of the genus Chorsine which supply them with batricotoxin. How the birds themselves do not die from the strongest poison, scientists have not yet been able to figure out.